It's important to understand that until recently, the evaluation of patients with cardiac, specifically coronary artery disease, was essentially a guesswork based on their risk factors and also uh, based on their symptomatology. What we've been able to achieve with iterative model reconstruction or I IMR is to obtain high quality and higher quality images that we did before at a much lower radiation dose to determine whether the patient's symptoms are related to cardiac disease or not and help them plan the type of treatment that the patient needs. There is a chest pain pathway in our emergency room that we use where we incorporate CT angiography in appropriate patients and allows us to disposition patients much more quickly than the traditional cardiac biomarkers, uh, stress perfusion imaging, the ability to look beyond just degree of stenosis but also look at plaque morphology to be able to make comments on lipid burden of the plaque, possible vulnerability of the plaque, thrombus burden, extent of calcification so that we can plan procedures whether we need adjunct therapies like uh, atherectomy, rotablation, these types of things. When less invasive procedures are done, they tend to have less complications, so it definitely will diminish the length of stay of patients and where they can be discharged uh, more quickly. Where I have seen IMR have the greatest impact are in the sickest patients that have renal failure and multiple comorbidities. And what we have found essentially is that we're able to decrease the KVP which increases the density of the iodine and contrast of the images. When we started to do tower planning and selection of patients, 50% or more of the patients we couldn't do because of uh, renal failure and fluid restriction. So all these patients that we could not do before, we're doing all of them. People now with BMIs in the 50s, people with rapid AFib, we're still able to get diagnostic quality studies uh, where a decade ago uh, we were less confident with the images that were coming back from these types of studies. One of the skepticisms from physicians is they feel they're missing uh, something on the image, that it's distorted, and actually that's not true. With experience, you realize that you're seeing more and better quality images. So you're not losing, you're actually gaining. And it's just a matter of time till you gain the confidence and abandon the old ways. There is no question that the evolution of CT will be of higher quality images with less radiation. So it is just a question of time before IMR become the new standard. Innovation and you, Philips.